Hello and welcome to this channel. The name of the channel is Atmik Gyan. That means, you know, the knowledge of your spirit or the spiritual knowledge. Uh, we discuss, you know, a lot of things which we go through when we ascend towards the higher consciousness. Today, our topic is, you know, who is Radha Rani? If we understand who is Radha Rani, we must understand who is Krishna also. You know, we can understand Krishna and Radha Rani in duality and non-duality. Means, uh, uh, when they are into the non-duality, means when we ascend towards it, and duality, when everything gets into the form, means this, the creation of universe takes place. So let's understand from, you know, a uh, very simple example of uh, transformation which happens in the universe. Say there is a universe and uh, it is uh, going uh, through a transformation, uh, going under a change every second or, you know, less than a second, it's changing every moment. So the change it goes, it undergoes is due to supramental force, which is Krishna. So Krishna is the supramental force, which makes the changes, progress and transformation. If there is a newborn child, he will, you know, grow up, he will become a kid, then, you know, 10 years, 20 years, 25 years, he will be a young man, then old man, and so on, the transformation of that body will happen. Similarly, there are trees uh, which, you know, starting from the plant, then become tree, and they grow, then they grow old, and they die. Similarly, the whole universe is going into the transformation. So, everything which happens, which has a movement, is because of Krishna. Now, who is Radha Rani? Let's consider, you know, the transformation force, which is making changes. But if we remove the universe and everything, and we keep the only transformation force, if there is no subject matter which is going under the changes, then the supramental force is nothing. We cannot realize it. If we realize the supramental force, the Krishna, we realize only because of the subject matter and the presence of the universe. That means the subject matter which goes under the changes, which make the presence of the transformation and the Krishna is Radharani. So Radharani is the base of transformation force. If there is no base, there is no transformation. Now let's us, let, let's consider with the other way. If we see the non-duality that means the Ardhanarishwar, then Radha and the Krishna, they are into the single form, single entity, non-duality, Ardhanarishwar. If Radha Rani, the Sankalp Shakti, uh, uh, the God himself, the God's Sankalp Shakti, the resolution of God that I become many from one, the Ichha Shakti and the wish, you can say, the wish of a God that, you know, from one, I should become many. The resolution of God, Sankalp Shakti of a God that I should become many, is Radha Rani. Now when it becomes many, then the creation of the universe happens. So the creation, the power of the creation is the Radha Rani. Alright? But it is only the creation. There is no life in the creation until and unless Krishna himself unite with the creation. Again, but what is the difference between the uniting with the creation and uniting unity before the creation you know there are two kind of consciousness in hindi we call it vyasht chetana and samisht chetana vyasht chetana that means uh, when krishna the transformation transformational force the supramental force unites with the creation with the with the universe and the transformation happens this is vyasht chetana that means after creation a supramental force unite with it and everything transformation and the changes and the expansion of the universe takes place this is vyasht chetana in this vyasht chetana the uh, radha uh, radha element and the krishna element are in duality we are into the creation that means we are we have not realized that we are god uh, ourselves that means we are into the duality form until and unless we ascend back towards the unity when there was no creation of universe so when in the universe we understand radha element and the krishna element we understand into the duality 
we understand krishna as a transformational force and radha as the base matter that means the creation before creation when they were into the non duality form ardha nadishwar in the single entity they were samist chetna they were mixed together all right there is no difference between radha and krishna so this is samist chetna so if there is a life that is because of sankalp shakti of god that is radha rani that i become many so if there is a life there is a universe that is because of radha rani and there is movement after that because krishna is also coming along with it and if we decide that we have to go back to our source to the god we have to unite with the god and we have to uh, realize ourselves then we go back this sankalp shakti this wish is also ichha shakti is this wish is also a radha rani so radha rani element gives life also and releases from the circle of life and birth so without radha rani there is no life there is no salvation and if uh, you know uh, if there is no krishna then there is no transformation so when into the vishta chetna in the formation we are working towards we are going under changes and we when we are free from life and birth that means we have realized ourselves we are liberated so this is you know the basic of uh, um, the krishna and radha when they are into the non duality they are one god is one there is no form nothing he is everywhere and when we understand the duality that means we are into the universe and we are doing our work or either we are ascending or we are not ascending that depends on our uh, you know ascension whether we are ascending or not whether radha rani has you know um, done any kind of you know uh, blessings on us if any blessings of radha rani is with us we will ascend back towards the krishna and we will unite with him and we realize that everything is one and till that we have to wait for you know blessings of radha rani without the blessings of radha rani there is no salvation so this is the basic about you know who is radha rani base matter and uh, sankalp shakti uh, the wish part to go back to ourselves uh, to towards the parmatma the ishwar the god i hope you like the information if you have any question on it we will definitely take it and we will discuss in further details this is the just basic uh, about radha and krishna the ardhanarishwar and the universe thank you so much and please like and subscribe this channel so that we can make more videos on this subject thank you so much